good morning students today we will be starting a new chapter that is parts of a plant a plant has many parts stem flowers leaves and fruits that grows above the soil and form the shoot system and the roots that grow, that grow below the soil forms the root system as you can see in the picture the different parts of the plant now a plant grows from a seed it needs sunlight air water and nutrients to grow as you can see in the picture the first one is a seed from there you can see the leaves are growing and also the roots the leaves that is going above the soil and the roots that are growing below the soil after few weeks that seed will grow to a full grown sapling then the sapling will be growing with new branches and new leaves after few months you will be seeing fruits flowers and the growth of the plant so a seed requires proper amount of sunlight air water and nutrients so that it grows into a full grown plant now let us talk about the root system root is the first part which emerges after the seed sprouts roots hold the plant firmly to the soil plants need water to grow and make food through the process of photosynthesis so what do you mean by a seed sprout or seed is sprouting sprouting is the natural process by which seeds germinates and put out shoots or produce new leaves or buds so you can see in the picture it is a um, gram seed gram seeds or you can say what you say chana no the white portion it is coming out so this is sprouts means from those white portion it will grow into new leaves new roots will grow from that white portion so it is called sprouting of seeds so now if we plant this gram seeds no with the white portion the sprouting portion then after few weeks you will be seeing that it is growing to a new plant leaves are coming out tiny tiny leaves are coming out if you plant that seed so why does a plant requires roots no what does the root does it holds the soil firmly means it holds tightly the soil so that it can stand straight the plant can stand straight also these roots they absorbs water and minerals from the soil and sends them up to the rest of the plants part okay the roots they absorb everything whatever is needed for the growth of the plant it absorbs from the soil and then it sends them to different parts of the plant photosynthesis means the process by which the plant prepares its own food so for preparing its food the plant requires sunlight water minerals from its surrounding with the help of the leaves and the stems it absorbs the sunlight also it absorbs the air from air it absorbs carbon dioxide okay and with the help of roots the plant absorb water and minerals so you all are aware that plants take up carbon dioxide and gives out oxygen and do that oxygen we breathe in we human beings animals we breathe in the oxygen so roots are divided into two types tap root and fibrous root this is the picture of a tap root 
The tap root has a thick center root growing straight downwards. It may or may not have branch roots. Small hair like roots grow from the sides of the central root. Most tall trees have an extremely well developed tap root system. The deep tap root system prevents tall trees from getting uprooted during the storm. As you can see in the picture, tap roots it has a main root, the central root that goes deep into the soil and small hair like roots come out from the central root. Because of this central root, tall trees it does not fall down easily or does not get uprooted, okay, even if high speed wind is blowing. So you can see here, these are the examples of few vegetables with taproot, carrot, turnip, beet. All these vegetables, they have taproot. This is a tree with taproot. Example of few trees with taproots are oak, walnut, conifers. The second type of root is fibrous root. As you can see in the picture, there are many branches coming out. Okay, but there is no central part of the root like you have seen in the tap root. The fibrous root has many branches that spreads out sideways. It does not go very deep into the soil. Fibrous roots branch sideways holding soil particles together. This prevents soil erosion. All types of grasses have fibrous roots. Spinach, rice and wheat are also types of grasses and hence they have fibrous roots. So fibrous roots as you can see it does not go very deep into the soil like tap root no. The tap roots what they go very deep into the soil but fibrous root instead they spreads into the soil with their tiny branches. So these are the few examples of fibrous roots. All the grasses, wheat, onions, garlic, they also have fibrous roots.